Hello everybody again for Dashboard Dissect. It is I, GA, Gironi and SM Hutton again. Got it right again. I'm keeping the ball rolling. We're winning streak now. Now, so we just got back from seeing Spree, the newest movie which actually hit cinemas. Yes, we've been out. Yeah. We've actually been out. We're not... Went to the cinema. It almost yeah. seems like it's like ancient history. And this feels very weird to film after watching that. Film. Yeah, because it's a film we've literally just come back from seeing. Literally come back, and the, the nature of this film, which we're going to get into with a spoiler talk, Spree. This film I had no in, I had no idea about. Well, I had even less idea about it. I kept it secret from him I this absolutely, time. Yeah, he said to me, all oh, right, we're going to watch a film, I've paid for the tickets, you have no idea what it is, you have no idea what it's called, it's just that guy from Stranger Things. It's Steve, the guy who plays Steve in yes. um, Stranger Things. So yeah, I, I was in the complete dark. I, I, I didn't see the trailer, I didn't see the picture, I had no idea what it was about, so it was a complete surprise for me. This was because we had that talk about seeing films without even seeing the trailer when we brought up Aquaman, and I thought, maybe I should do that to you. Let's do a little experiment. The film follows Joe Keery, who plays Kurt Curdle, who is a very troubled individual who dreams of being dead famous. That's why I said it's very weird of filming this now in this sort of environment with this film because he is, it's basically, Spree is this made up app which is sort of like Uber where he goes around and takes people's requests to drive them at certain locations. But obviously he's decked out the car a little bit and he's trying to do something to prove that he can be followed. But it takes very, very disturbing turns, literally turns. disturbing turns on the road to what he's doing next and he it gets further and further down the line by that point. Uh, the thoughts of what well, the theme is actually very in, in contrast it's actually very it's almost very clever it, it highlights a lot of problems that I feel uh, social media brings out this day and age it's very on the nose it's with, definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely makes you social you know, media works think about things very differently and it just also highlights how many crazy idiots there are it is this out film, in the world this film has so many references to in, to many social media platforms that it's very tongue-in-cheek but also at the same time it's very disturbingly real at the same it time is. because you see people on these websites that will see these horrible things happen in sort of Kurt's instances where he is obviously doing bad things. I won't spoil anything just yet. Our world is just so desensitized by everything where we just take it as we come and go. Like it's just natural to us. And obviously that has very bad repercussions as we follow on from this film. The first thing I like about it is just Kurt himself played by, jo by, by Joey. He starts off very, he definitely plays a, a lonely person and a, a, who just wants to be seen very well. A very lonely introvert, like most people who would get up on a camera, set up in a car and start reviewing themselves. Alright guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not doing anything. No, don't worry, we don't have a knife, although they might link back to the first video I did with Adam with that knife. Yeah, 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 you might, you might I up, promise I wasn't the basis. I wasn't the basis. I don't use Uber. <laughs> I found some scenes very difficult to follow sometimes because I was, it was quite difficult to follow one bit because there was so much going on at the same time with the scene, which I'll get into when we spoil it. Yeah, but obviously Cut Joey is a strong point with this because he you see his gradual decline in ment in, in mentality. In mentality, he, yeah. He, he slowly just goes insane. This slow the slow game of just in, this one introvert who dreams of being big. He's obviously filmed so many videos beforehand where he's got basically no one, sort of like what we are at this point. But I, think, it, I think it's disturbing life in, in general as well. It doesn't really help. This film just like takes aims at like social media, the way people act on social media, the influencers who I, we all have problems with influencers at this point yeah, in the Yeah, we have people that are, you know, that are just mean and just want to tear people down left, right and centre. The game is ruthless and just, and Joey takes it to the full extreme in this, which obviously... He very much doesn't really give two flying fucks, does he? No. The thing I also like about it the most is that unfriended style. Like, I personally like the film Unfriended because of its whole being on a Skype call. Like, this film was all like pure camera-based. All pure camera-based. Like, the camera's in his car, his phone, other people's phones. Like, it just shows how... How connected. Yeah, how connected the filmmakers how switched were. switched on the world is to, to everything that yeah, was the filmmakers, our phones. The filmmakers knew how to do it in present time, especially with the abundance of phones. Considering this is like one of the very few films of this year that we'll probably be reviewing if we get down to it, but obviously they might pick up somewhere. 
I really enjoyed this. I thought this was very, very topical and yet funny and disturbing. I was on edge at some points with this film. Uh, for me, I, uh, it's difficult to say. There are certain things that characters did because obviously this film is, is almost based on what real life is today. And it, yes. also, it also faces up to what you would do in, a, in some of these situations. And for me personally, there were a few scenes where I thought, huh, really? Yeah, there's some instances where people take action in a... In the most wrong, in, in, in the most, you know... But obviously with every action, it's a 50-50. Like, you'll do one thing, the other person will do the other. Yeah. So certain things sort of ticked you off, but obviously... Yeah, I can certain expl- scenes... I can explain how, why they took that in, that route. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I understand what route they would have taken, but in my personal opinion, there were some decisions that were made that I just thought, mm-hmm. Did it um, shock you as much? Because you were always asking me, he was asking me just before, it's just like, is it a horror? Is it a horror? Is it a horror? Yeah, I was, so like, I was, like, I was like, like, can you handle horror? Well, I was like, is it a horror? Is it an action? Is it a comedy? Like, like I don't, what is this? The I didn't even know the thing. title. I, all, all, I, all, all he said to me was, it's that guy from, from Stranger Things. I was like, well, you know. And that's all you need to know. For, for, for a surprise film that I had absolutely no idea was even around, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I'd definitely give it a good, you know, I'd, I'd give it a, uh, about a three and a half for me because uh, there, there are some certain bits in it that I didn't agree with. Didn't agree with. I am personally going to go four fingers on this. That is four out of five. I definitely think this was quite a shocker, this film. It had certain instances where it threw me off for a loop. Some things which were really funny at places, awkwardly funny at times, and just downright disturbing, which is like a very perfect blend for a nice milkshake concoction when you get with sort of these films, don't you? Yeah, they try and add all types of elements in to keep you on the edge of your seat, which I do find some scenes did do quite well. Which is good because as the world changes, more ideas start to brew in these circumstances, don't they? Hmm. I would definitely personally recommend this. This is a good thriller slash horror. Well, yeah, I, def- I definitely say it's, it's yeah, it's yeah. more a thriller. Definitely I would do say. what you did. Uh, definitely, other you know, people do what he yeah people do what he did to me. You know, basically say I booked a film, we're going. This film is definitely on the nose with how modern culture is, especially in social media game and the internet in general. There's a bit in the end, which I was you saw me. I was rocking back and forth because it was so. Was so close, so close to being absolutely perfect. If you're on the internet as much as everybody else is, you know some parts where the news comes into play with shaping events and how the internet takes it. It's very different, but it gets it right in my opinion. So I'm definitely giving this approval high praise. This is four fingers for me. Use three and a half, Boney. Huh. He's kind of like you at one point. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, by the way, beautiful self into the light, sir. I do have merch. This is the merch. I will link a link to the Teespring store down below, guys. You can obviously pick up these lovely face masks if you do want to support the channel and all that. There's t-shirts, sweaties, hoodie, sweaty hoodies. <laughs> sweaty hoodies. <laughs> sweaty hoodies. Sweaty hoodies. If you do want to support the channel, do make sure to pick some of these up at Teespring. I will leave a link in the description as well as my Instagram and Facebook. You can contact Sam through your email as we've discussed. Sam, <laughs> Sam, 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 and of course, don't forget about the website. The website is where I'm going to be blogging most of the time. I will, I will put things on my Instagram to let you know about the blog post so you don't feel left out. I'm GA, this is SM. We'll see you in a bit maybe for the spoilers, if you want it to be spoiled at least. Yeah, well yeah, if you you want a spoiled version, come back for the next video because we're going to spoil the shit out of it. Brilliant. Last in there guys, see you soon. Actually, hear the fly. You won't catch it. Got them both. Oh, nice. <laughs> Fucking nuts. <laughs> Mother of fuck. <laughs> Good shot. I, don't, I, don't think I, got him. I think you got him. Die.